Hey guys, how's it going? So what we're looking at today is sending your character or mesh um, into Substance Painter. So we'll work it through, you know, UVing everything or setting up the UVs, setting up the UV groups um, and all the material sets, everything like that. Um, what I've done between last time and this time is I've changed the hair. I used the method in my last video to create the hair cards where I used hair tubes and created hair, uh, created poly cards out of the hair tubes. Um, so if you want to check that out, go look at my last video. But as you can see, I've sort of detailed the leggings, the boots, um, Let's see, sculpted a bit on the sort of undergarment, the chest I did in the first video, the shoulder pads, all these are just alphas that I applied onto a high resolution mesh that will be baked down in Substance Painter. So what I did was made each thing, um, I make all my subtools low. And I've got that, I selected each one individually. So you get into boots. And because in, oh, when I first made it, when I was Q meshing everything, um, you bring, you know, you start off the base, you Q mesh it, that will create another poly group. So it's got poly group for the base of the boots, poly group for that line, um, then the boots area. Um, I did the same for everything, so you'll see these lines are a different poly group than the main bit. Um, the chest, you have a poly group going along there. Poly group here. Um, this bit I made different poly groups, so the arms will be one poly group because they'll be um, UV'd separately from these lots, so you want a different UV island for it. Um, this will be the front and that will be the back because sometimes if you go into um, unwrap UV master, it will do the whole mesh and it won't um, it won't fold where you want it to be folded. So with this, all I did was go into the where is it? Z modeler poly group single poly, and I just selected the polys I wanted as one poly group so that UVs would cut where I want it to be cut. So when I did that, all I did was go Z plugin, symmetry and poly groups and unwrap. Um, then when you've done that, you can see the UV is quite nice like that. So what you want to do is you want to do it for all the poly groups. So the chest, um, the belts, the cloak, pretty much everything, UV them or unwrap the UVs in here. When you've done that, you'll have yeah, UV set up. So after that, you want all the polys that you want to be seen. Um, so let's make all these not visible. But yeah, when you've done that, make all your subtools a little low. Export all visible and options you want export smoothing levels and S normals, you want all that. Export them and yeah, take it into Maya. I've done a different material for each um, different part of the you know armor I want separate. So in Character Creator, it allows you to pack all the UVs together depending on what they are. So if these are accessories, I can pack them all into one UV set. So I've just done each one separately to get the most detail I can out of them. So the undergarments, what I did was make the arms go left and right. Um, this is basically what I did for, the, for them. I made the UVs right. Um, what else? Yeah, you just want to lay everything out flat or straight, just like that. With the cloak, I just kept the UV the same from when it was from ZBrush, because that was fine. Shoulder pads, 
you know, your UVs are laid out nicely. What else? Boots. I moved everything into that, which I shouldn't have done. There we go. Um, as you can see, I've laid out the sort of strips that go around the edges. I've laid out flat and going left to right instead of diagonally. Um, the base of the feet are flat there. Um, the main boots are like that. Yeah. So when you've got the UV set up and all the UV groups, go into object mode, select assign new material, blend, and you just name it, boots, underscore material, color, just choose the color. Um, so yeah, when you've got all that done, you want to save each subtool as underscore, well, as a prefix underscore low. Um, I even did the belt separately because when you go to bake it, if you have it as a separate subtool, it will bake nicely and it won't, none of it will, um, so the baking won't cast on the chest piece, which is when it's going to be exported together later on. Um, they're on the same UV island and the same material, it should be fine. Um, but if it's got a different name, it will bake separate from the others. If that made any sense. Um, so when you've done all that, select all of them. Um, select all of them. Right click, no, shift and right click, soften edges, and you want to soften the edge. After that, export selection, um, clothing low. And after that, you want to go back into ZBrush, get all your subtools as high polys now you want to give these a ID so let's start from the beginning boots I'm going to give them a red color so click any color you want go into color fill object and this will poly paint the entire object that color I'm going to do it for each subtool Right, so when you've got a different colour for each subtool, you want to go into Z plugin, Decimation Master, use and keep poly paint, and pre process all. And as long as the subtools that, well, the subtools you want to pre process are visible um, and nothing else, it'll only pre process the subtools you want done. Okay, so when you've got the subtools all pre-processed using and keeping poly paint because you want to keep the colors there um, 20 percent decimation is pretty decent uh, that's what i usually do you see if you do decimate all so when you've done all that c plugin uh, fbx export all visible um, what you want to do first is boots you want to keep the well. You want to make the prefix of all these as underscore high, because these are the high poly. You want them as underscore high at the end. So yeah, all the high polys are now underscore high at the end. So then go into C plugin, uh, export visible. With this, make sure export poly groups as mat is off because you don't want loads and loads of materials um, if you've got loads and loads of poly groups. So. Those settings are good for this. Visible um, export. Clothing. Hi. This will export everything. So when you go into Substance Painter, you should be able to bake everything quite nicely. All right, so that's, that is um, exported. The one thing you need to take into consideration is when when you're exporting the body, um, you don't want to decimate. So, the well, reason for this is when you did when I decimated the chest, some of the edges aren't as smooth as they used to be. Um, 
with the face, you don't want to decimate it because it will get rid of all that detail that you've put in from texturing XYZ or um, if you put it in through ZBrush, but all the detail that you've added, you don't want to get rid of. So with the face and with the body, you just need to, you just need to export it as it is. Um, if I go into Substance Painter now, so when you come to Substance Painter, all you need to do is select new. Then here you have file select, go into here, select your clothing low poly that you've made. Comes in quite nicely to Substance Painter, adds a low poly. Now, all you need to do is Bake Mesh Maps, 4K or 2K, whatever you want to do. 4K usually gets the most detail out of it. Um, high definition meshes. This is where you select your high definition mesh, so your high poly mesh. Uh, I've covered this in a previous video, but max frontal distance is just the area outside and max rear is uh, area inside the poly where it's going to bake. So with the face and the hands and all that, you want this to be quite low because um, you don't want the body sort of baking parts you don't want to bake. So when, they, when you're doing the hair, at a t well, when you're doing the hands at a T-pose, um, the fingers sometimes uh, create shadows because of the bake. So for the clothing at the moment, I'm going to keep this the same as it is. Um, match by mesh name. This is so that um, different parts of the body don't, well, different parts of the armor don't bake on top of parts you don't want needed. So if I did, so the belts, I named them belts low and belts high, and the chest was belts low, belts high. Well, chest was chest low, chest high. Um, now, by mesh name, will allow it to bake separately instead of together. This will reduce any baking errors. Bake all texture sets, and this should bake all the, um, all the texture sets that you want baked. So what you'll find when you go into Substance Paint and you finally bake down your materials is your high, high detail from your high poly will be, back, well, will be projected onto your low poly. So from here, you'll have all your material sets um, all sorted out. With me, I had to export each sub-tool that was for each material out because when I exported everything together, there was errors in the bake. So if you do find there is errors in the bake, you can try export each piece individually and go into bake mesh maps and you want to just bake you know, the one material mesh map. So if you do find those errors, just try export one sub tool at a time and use it that way. If it worked for you the first time with everything exported, then that's fine. But yeah, so that was the basics of baking down and sorting your character out into Substance Painter. Um, in my next tutorial, I'll probably be working on showing you how to texture something using um, different materials mixed with black masks and different smart masks and how you can use all that to make a really nice looking, um, how to make your armour and clothing look really nice. And then after that I'll go into, I'll probably go into getting everything back into Character Creator 3 and later on I'll probably do a tutorial on rendering inside a Marmoset tool bag. But yeah, so I hope that was helpful to everyone. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If it helped you guys, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I've just hit over 200 subs, so thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And yeah, happy modeling everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.